Hello, hi, it's Steve with Pipster, and uh, you'll probably remember I've done a video uh, just recently. We put an article on the TES, uh, Times Educational Supplement, um, where Dr. Roberts, Professor Roberts from Birmingham University, is calling for laws to be passed so that evolution is taught in every single school. Everyone, including Christians and uh, and um, Hindus and uh, all the Islamic faith schools, etc., um, and any uh, theories that go against evolution uh, should be forbidden by law to be taught in the science room. They want creation, creation science. Uh, well. I'm getting the picture that actually, actually, some some humanists would be quite happy to see it taught in RE, religious education, which of course would mean it wouldn't be taught as a science at all, uh, and some actually don't want it taught at all. It's indoctrination, as far as they're concerned. And of course, Professor Roberts has been quoted on here saying that we shouldn't be giving children ideas. We want them to be open-minded, and by and by uh, having them open-minded means we don't give them ideas. Okay. Uh, of course, that doesn't apply to evolution, of course. That doesn't apply to the humanists and uh, and that sort of thing. No, but it does apply to um, faith and uh, religious perspectives. Um, not just Christian, but Muslim and uh, Hindu and Buddhist, etc., etc. But... There you go, double standard, clear double standards, and uh, totally illogical thinking, not giving ideas, not presenting the evidence and discussing the evidence. Oh yeah, oh yeah, evidence, evidence for evolution, they'll accept, but not evidence for uh, creationism uh, and the Bibles, uh, and the Bibles, many, many scientifically provable statements to show that God was involved in the start. And the scientists know this. Okay. Oh, that's Professor Roberts. But I think for consistency, um, I can't, I can't um, have a go at the atheists too much without acknowledging that there are people on um, the other side of the camp. Uh, there are Christians out there who are um, also got some very dodgy ideas. Uh, and um, unbalanced ideas on how to educate children uh, and rather than through law um, as in state law they try to enforce that through legalism and also uh, an intimidation uh, of people because Christians we don't want to be we don't want to be told we're not Christian and we don't care for our children um, uh, but they are using the Bible to, uh, and some of them have uh, come across quite forcefully to say this and to imply that anyone who is not following their trip, their line is actually going against God's will. And they'll actually quote the Bible. People like um, Pastor Anderson, Stephen Anderson, and uh, Husky out there on YouTube. Uh, they want, um, they encourage parents like myself uh, to homeschool. Our children, um, which is quite interesting, because well, I'm, I'm, I, won't, I won't say I won't say I won't say homeschooling uh, isn't in the Bible, so we shouldn't do it. And and I think I think if you're capable of doing it, homeschooling is a great thing. Um, there's that's it's it's a, no, it's an option. It's another educational option. Just as the people in the state system don't like children being homeschooled that much, the same way that. Uh, um, I would say, you know, let's fight for the right to, for parents to homeschool the children that they want. But the thing is, though, uh, we live in different worlds to the times in the Bible. And what was taught in the Bible was that parents were responsible for education on two fronts. The first front would be to bring their children up as godly children and to teach them the word of God, to teach them about spirituality. It wasn't sending your kids to go down to the local temple of Baal and have the high priest there teach their children 
about religious education and about God. No, it was the parents' responsibility to teach their children on that aspect. Also, there was a community around them. People were tied together by their families, by their extended families, by their tribes, um, and, and then also as a nation as well. And they all played a part in education in one form or another. Another aspect is, is, is for the career. Uh, parents would teach their children a trade, and that was a trade of the family, and they would follow on normally that family trade. So hence, when Jesus was born, Joseph, to adopt him legally, uh, in the eyes of the state, he had to claim a child for his own, and also teach him his, his trade, which was carpentry. And that was, and, and he became Joseph's apprentice. So, that was on that front there. Now, of course we've grown more, societies have changed and they've developed and they've come into all these um, new things now. And to function, our children need a better grounding of knowledge, which is, is, uh, is all of the sciences and uh, um, mathematics, languages, we're all taught this, and to some degree, can be taught in homeschooling. Of course, it can. But I'm yet to meet a super parent who actually knows extensively, certainly right up to to um, what it would be t taught in post-16, uh, how to educate their children on all subjects across the curriculum. Okay, I mean, I, I wouldn't. I would be able to explain some things about biology to my sons, but I certainly couldn't um, teach them what someone who's got a degree in biology would have. And the same way, um, I'm sure that uh, uh, I'd quite comfortably um, teach them a thing or two about English and uh, and how the English language works, and the history of the English language, etc, etc, because that's what my degree is in. Now, um, what Pastor Anderson and Husky have been doing is, is they've, <clears throat> is they've uh, taken this stuff from the Bible, which is absolutely right and solid, that parents should be teaching the children at home, they should be teaching the children Christian values at home. But they've, they've applied that to the church, and said the church is wrong by starting Sunday schools, which eventually became the state education system, um, in, in the, way they've, the way they've described it. And yes, Christians were involved in all of the great educational institutions in the Western world. Okay, we kicked it off, and now the, um, and now the uh, atheists and the secularists are claiming credit for it. But also, they are saying that... Um, uh, parents who don't homeschool are going against what the Bible says and are going against God's teachings well that isn't really what, what is being said yes they are shirking their responsibilities if they are not teaching the children Christian values but going to the point to say that if they're going to be good Christians they have to have their children home educated withdrawn from society this is bit this is bordering on what is bordering on cultic behavior like the jehovah's witnesses who will only allow their children to be educated in the state system up to a certain age and then and then with peer pressure and using scripture again they put pressure on the children to um on the parents to remove their children in order to control their thinking because in universities they should be taught and I hope they are taught how to think not what to think which is what the Jehovah's Witnesses want to happen what the evolutionists want to happen and also really what these extreme Christians want to happen as well their children not to be exposed to ideas to have their thinking controlled which uh, I don't think is um, something which God calls for okay God calls for us to have a good rounded knowledge 
So that's a, that's an aspect which I, I really wanted to, to highlight from here, that there are people who are, um, who are on the creationist side who have also fallen, in my view, into error. And I think that's a big mistake as well. Nothing wrong with homeschooling, but once again, the materials in the homeschooling are likely to have been written by people who have gone to universities and uh, etc. themselves, who have been educated in the public uh, arena and have shared in the marketplace of ideas. And so even by homeschooling standards, uh, by Pastor Anderson standards and stuff, they're still going to be exposed to thoughts from the outside world. Um, and to, uh, so I think it's got to be explained. So thank you very much for listening and um, sorry it's so rushed, but uh, God bless you and I hope you learned something. Thank you.